ice cream. I've never yeah. made it before, OK, and you have. I make ice cream, yeah. OK, right, so what have we got here? A big bowl. <laughs> yes, other than the, <laughs> <We've> <laughs> very much the big bowl, we've got some a table, cream. a floor. Right. right. Now, now, according to my ice cream maker, you need sugar, cream, some flavouring and a few hours in the freezer to make ice cream. <laughs> right, OK. Right, let's give it a stir. But I want to ditch the freezer and try something totally different. Well, we're going to freeze it in an unconventional fashion. I'm beginning to realise that. Oops. OK, now wait. <laughs> I'm going to amaze you by introducing to this particular equation... Oh, no way! Yes, a fact. <laughs> no, no. This is to try and freeze that. If you do. No, no, absolutely not. So my question to you is, how long do you think it would take to use this to freeze that to turn it into edible ice cream? Is that going to go in the freezer? Nope. The freezer's shut down. The freezer's had a power cut. We've got no electricity. It's just me, you, the bowl full of that. And, and the this. red thing. I've got no idea. Two hours? Three? OK, so final guess. I'm going for three hours. Three hours? Yeah. Any more? Any advances on that? I think you think it's going to work, but I don't think it's going to work, no. OK, so should we find out? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. With my volunteer rather sceptical about my experiment, just how long will it take to make edible ice cream by blending the mixture with carbon dioxide from a food-safe fire extinguisher? Will it take two hours? Will it take three hours? Will it not make ice cream at all? Or will it be none of the above? Have you got a pillowcase on you? No. That's all right, I've got one. That's all right, fine. Phew. This is to catch the contents of the fire extinguisher. Right, you ready? Yeah. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. You're going to jump again, all right? Step one in my ice cream masterclass. I create my special ingredient. When I spray the extinguisher into the pillowcase, some of the gas turns into icy lumps of carbon dioxide called dry ice, which gives off a mist of white vapour. Right, get ready to get stirring, because we are now emptying the contents of the fire extinguisher. Good. Step two, I pour the dry ice into the bowl. Right. Yes, do. Then mix thinking? vigorously until something very cool happens. Now, do not try this at home. <laughs> I can't wait to. Beneath the mist, an amazing transformation is taking place. It's getting thicker. Now, you've had a lot of experience with making ice cream. Yep. And previously, when you stir it, does it feel similar to this? God, it did in the old days, yeah. Whilst you're doing that, I'll get some cones, just in case. Just in case. Just in case it works. Two cones. After only three minutes, we have right. something that looks just like ice cream. What's that looking like? Oh, it looks like ice cream. Where's so the scoop? Ice cream. Look at that. You first. Mm. Mm. Hang on a minute. Mm. It just tastes just like ice cream. That's weird. Look at you in a rush. All right. So the answer was none of the above. Amazingly, it took just three minutes to make edible ice cream from a fire extinguisher. How did we do it? I really, really don't know. I'd really? like to know. The carbon dioxide is stored in the fire extinguisher as a liquid, most of which evaporates when it's expelled into the room. But when I spray it into the pillowcase, the contained temperature quickly becomes so cold that the carbon dioxide freezes into dry ice. Now, dry ice is much colder than ice made from water at minus 109 degrees, so it freezes the ice cream mix in minutes. So what are you going to do next time there's a power cut? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Sorry, this is your kitchen, isn't it? It was.